Hey everyone, welcome to Lash's online channel. I'm Victoria. I'd love it if you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Let's take a look at Lash's before extensions. The first thing you notice is the direction of lash growth. You can tell right away that the lashes have a strong curl, which means the extensions will look even more curled than those on gals with naturally straight lashes. Initially, the gal wanted straight lashes, so typically, in such cases, I suggest a C curl. However, because her natural lashes are already curled, a C curl would end up looking more like a D curl. So, I decided to go for a B curl instead. We chose a brown lash color, 0.1 thickness, lengths ranging from 6 to 10, hybrid volume. The gal wanted a fox eye effect. If I were choosing the effect myself, I'd go for a soft fox eye, meaning I'd add a few shorter lashes to the outer corner to avoid weighing it down. But as always, I consider my client's preferences and aim to provide a comfortable experience. Take a look at the natural lashes in this area. Firstly, there are noticeably fewer lashes here, and secondly, there are more short lashes in the growth phase than long ones. What to do with such lashes? Usually, if there are only a few short lashes, I'd use a shorter length for extensions, like 6 or 7. But in our case, there are many short lashes, so I'll use a shorter length on the shortest ones, some may need longer lengths for volume, and on the full length lashes, I'll focus on density and apply 3D fans. But I'll definitely warn the client that there's an area with many short lashes that will grow out quickly. Sometimes lashes look like this when a client rubs their eyes and pulls out the extensions along with their natural lashes, but in this case, it's just how the lashes naturally grow.
Why is client lash extension so different from competition lashes? We can create the perfect lash line, work with fine lashes, do super natural extensions, but not all clients will like that. Lately, clients have been wanting an uneven lash line or long wispy lashes, and some even come in asking for 0.15 thickness lashes. When working with clients, we should prioritize their preferences. After all, whether the client returns to us or not depends on it. And of course, I recommend having a variety of lengths, thicknesses, and colors of lash extensions so clients have options, or so you can suggest different styles without limiting yourself to just two curls. Another option, if a client comes in asking for a specific curl and you don't have it, assure them you'll have it next time. Clients appreciate knowing you're looking out for them, and they're likely to come back to you again. Drop your suggestions for the next lash style in the comments, ask your questions, hit that like button, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time.